Hey, hey there, YouTubers. Math and Fanatic is here again. Today I'm going to show you guys how to copy a segment using a compass and a straight edge. So here I've already uh, created a segment and I've labeled it AB. So this is my segment AB and ideally you want to have your segments labeled so that when you uh, create the copy you can label the copy and then you can clearly distinguish the original segment from the copied segment. I also have here a compass and uh, I've got my compass needle here and I'm using a red pencil I guess you could say. So uh, if, if you at home all have your compasses and straight edges we can go ahead and get started. The first thing that I need to copy a segment is um, something larger than the segment that I can copy it onto. So much like you're creating sugar cookies at Christmas time, you need uh, the dough rolled out larger than the cookie cutter so that you can fit the cookie cutter on there, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a ray, right? A ray or a line larger than the segment or even a segment larger than that segment itself would do. And so you need to take your straight edge and you just need to create an endpoint and then um, draw out a ray or another line segment that is longer than the original segment that you have. Once you do that, then we need to go ahead and say, okay, well, where am I going to start? I'm going to start here. I usually go left to right. And so I'm going to start with the point A, and its copy will just um, naturally be this end point down here on the ray. There's no reason to make it more difficult. I suppose you could start somewhere in the middle of the ray or the line that you create, but it seems like that's more work than you necessarily should be doing. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to label this down here. Now I don't want to label it A as well because we never want to have two points on the same plane with the same name because then you couldn't distinguish the two. So the way we distinguish copies is by using a prime. So I'm going to call this A prime. So now I have my A prime down here and uh, I have that labeled. The next thing I need to do is measure how long this segment AB is using my compass. So I'm going to go ahead and move the needle over here and I'm going to place it on one of the endpoints. Again, I'm going from left to right, but you can go from right to left if you wanted. And so I have the needle placed on A and then I'm going to open my compass um, to that width. And it looks like I need to do a little rotating here. And now I have the compass uh, open to the distance from A to B. So now my compass is at that setting that is the length from A to B. So I want to copy that setting. So all I gotta do is pick up my compass. And when you pick yours up, it should not move. Be very careful that it doesn't change settings. And you need to move it down to the ray or the line that you created. Set the needle on A prime, just as you set it on A. And then you need to strike an arc on the ray. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna strike an arc right through there. It doesn't need to be huge. Um, it can be as big as or as small as you want. It just needs to mark uh, where it hits that ray. And then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to create a point uh, where that intersection of the arc and my ray occur. And that's really hard to do here with the touchpad, but I do my best, right? So there's that point, and I can go ahead and leave the arc there. There's no reason to erase your arc because you'll mostly be using pencils probably at home with your compasses. So there's no reason to erase the arc. It actually is a way of showing your work of doing this construction. But I do need to do one last thing, and that's label that copied point. And so, if you at home were labeling this point, what would you guess that I would name it? That's right, it'd be B prime. So I go ahead and I have that label B prime, and I put that next to that segment. So this segment, A prime, B prime, is the same measure as AB. So if I wanted to write that um, in, in any mathematical form, I could always say AB, and remember we're talking about its measure, so we're not putting the segment symbol up at the top. I would just say that AB is equal to A prime, B prime. Again, no symbol on top because we're talking about their measures. And we say equals and not congruent because, again, we're talking about measures. They actually represent numbers. All right, it's not necessarily necessary that you create these all the time, but it's, it's important that you understand that they do have equal measures. So that's how you copy a segment. If you have any questions, leave them below, and I'll see you guys next time.